good morning. Jason Lee Taco. Today we're gonna do a sketch of the trunk of this beechwood tree. Saw these uh, trunks. There's a whole line of them along the road. We are along a road here. So I apologize in advance for any uh, traffic, but I just love the shape and look of these trees. And the morning light on them is really intriguing. So I thought, what the heck, let's do a sketch of them. If you're new to my channel, you hit the subscribe button, that'd be awesome. I post a couple times a month. And what I do is I show the first, you know, roughly 20 minutes, give or take, to the uh, YouTube public. And then the rest is for my Patreon subscribers. Commercial free, if you're interested in doing that, seeing this whole video, become a Patreon subscriber, link is below. So I'm gonna keep this, I'm not gonna try to do, at least starting out anyway, who knows, we might end up like this, but I'm not gonna try to do a full composition here. I'm going to just try to keep it loose and get the essentials down. The light's gonna change quick on this, and most of this is gonna end up in sunlight. There's some nice little colors and things I wanna capture there. By the way, the colors on my palette, speaking of that, titanium white, cadmium yellow light, cadmium orange, Indian yellow, yellow ochre, uh, transparent rod oxide, cadmium red medium, alizarin crimson, ultramarine blue, cobalt blue, cerulean blue, and viridian. So there's some really dark accents down here at the bottom of the trunk. Let's get those in first, because that's gonna be our um, anchor point, if you will, from a value perspective. The very bottom there, almost a full strength dark. I might have to lighten those as we go, but we'll get them in as a full strength dark for right now. Uh, let's move up a little bit and add some white and a bit of ochre. The back of this trunk has a lot more blue in it. And this is kind of a neat trunk for a study. It splits as we go up. But in the split, right in here, it's actually a warm tone. For the most part, it does cool off a little bit as we get up and in, into here. These kind of studies are wonderful to do especially if you're more in the beginning stages. Because it really gets you to focus more on just the essentials of form. Rather than having to contend with an entire landscape. Now up here it gets darker. A little darker and a little greener. I think because it's picking up light it's picking up some of that ambient light down at the bottom. For the most part, I'm just using the number four bristle brush. Laying in some approximate tones right now, knowing that we'll probably have to make some adjustments later. A lot of traffic this morning. A 
Main thing I want to walk away with, my main objective is to capture the roundness of these trees more than anything else. I'm gonna hit that with a paper towel and to keep that sketchy look if I can. Let's go in and reshape this trunk a bit. Just a wet paper towel with some mineral spirits on it. Taper that as we go up toward the top. There's some leaves, some dark leaf action going on right about in here that I think will give some interest. I just want to give a quick indication of that. I don't obsess too much over composition out in the field, but if we can give something a little bit of interest without having to put a whole lot of work into it, then I I have nothing against doing that. I also might change things a bit to uh, heighten the interest of the painting some. All right, clean up the palette just a bit. Okay, so most of my values are established. I'm gonna go in with the light part of the trunk now. It's fairly warm. We got some sunlight hitting that. Go with some white, some ochre. It's almost a bit too warm. Let's add a bit of iridium to that, see what happens. Just taking notes right now. I'm not trying to go after anything really specific. Just trying to gather notes of color and value. I want to kill the white on this canvas just because um, any white on here I think might throw me off as far as getting the white. Established on the trunk. There's some distant blue back there. My uh, cobalt is starting to dry, I see. this with a paper towel again. I want to keep this nice and sketchy for now. Even dip my paper towel in some mineral spirits.
Okay, I need to go lighter with that side of the trunk there. And I think I might need to go darker with the background values. That might be my real problem. When you're painting something like this, if you keep going lighter and you're almost at pure white and you just can't get that to pop out like it should, it's probably not that you haven't gone light enough. It's probably that you haven't gone dark enough with your background. So let's do a case in point here. Let's darken that background a bit more. Right in there. See how that brings that out? It's always about relationships. So if you keep struggling in the same area, you know, you keep making it lighter, making it darker, whatever, and it just is not getting the effect you want. It's probably because something else needs to be altered. And you might go, well, when I look over there, it doesn't look that dark, you know? But you have to look at everything in relation to each other and ask yourself what's important. Is it important to get the lightness of this trunk? Well, then you might have to alter what's back there to capture the effect that you want. Boy, there's a lot of traffic on this road. Normally, I drive this road a lot. Normally, it's pretty mellow, but this morning, it's just crazy. See, like right up here, that's got to go darker in there for sure. Now, I don't think my color is exact, but my main objective, like I said, is to get that trunk. See, right in here, there's a beautiful blue reflecting off of here. And it's the dark back in here that brings that out. So I want to get that dark in there as well. I think I'm going to need to just go over that right now. Okay, now I want to try to estimate that half tone in here. Right in there. Those half tones, when you get them, they really can make the painting come alive. Okay, so I think I'm going to stop there for the general YouTube public. If you want to see the rest of this, uh, cross over the Patreon. $5 a month. I post a couple times a month. That's $2.50 a video. You can watch me finish this commercial free. Anyway, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you could. And hit the, uh, well, hit the like button, thumbs up, same thing. Hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you again.